Hello and welcome back everybody, this is Muhammad and Said with you again. In this video, we're going to go through something called Kibbit Design Language. We're going to use this language to put there our inputs, our code, and our other main folder is going to be our folder to create this skeleton. So let's get started with our new video. So first of all, we're going to get our skeleton code, which we did in our first video. Uh, we're going to like pr uh, print it here and then we're going to make this our skeleton and we're going to uh, put every printing stuff um, in another folder so we're going to say we're just going to add one uh, line of code here from kv.uix from kv.uix dot um, wood here we're going to add the power or the option to um, import widgets so import widget here um, and yeah after that we're going to I don't know if you guys have that project over here uh, it depends on what operating system you're using probably it's going to be a bit same maybe a bit different but you might find something here called project Pass on it. You're going to see here you get your folder, everything that you have created. So you see your first code, every uh, thing you've created. So yeah, um, here's my code. I called it kv. Uh, my I called it kv4. So the other file that we're going to create is called style.kv. So just right click, press on new and then new file uh, call it whatever you want I'm just going to call it style.kv um, don't uh, forget to put the .kv there and you see that there's something um, else exists of the same name so let's just say anything let's say um, code you can call it anything you want uh, so here you see it's going to work um, so what KV is KV um, is the the definition of KV it's KV like you just have to put that to make it work so in Python you put dot py um, HTML dot HTML so yeah create your folder I called my folder style dot KV uh, so go to that folder uh, and here is where we're going to put our code our grid everything we want to be outputted everybody can see it so first of all say uh, here and everything goes by indentation here so it doesn't automatically indent like just Python you have to use the tab key so we're going to say my grid and yeah, something else before I forget. Um, whatever you call this folder, I call my folder style.kv. So its name is style. Uh, here you have to say class style app. No matter what, if this style is capital here, it's always going to be the first letter capital. So, and you always have to add this app. I don't know why they did that, but yeah. So if I called my app app.kv I'm going to say app app and um, with the first letter capital or if I call the code.kv it's going to be uh, capital C code dot uh, code app so yeah I'm going to go to my style and I'm going to say my grid my grid uh, and then we're going to say here we're going to tell the computer that we're going to start coding starting to put everything we're going to use so let's say grid layout grid layout and to like if you did that and continued with code without um, using uh, a code that I'm going to show you here it's called root uh, if you don't use that your code is just going to be on the bottom it's not going to do um, anything up top anything that you might be using so we're going to say grid layout 
no spaces and capital L good layout now we're going to say uh, how much columns we want calls and yeah uh, don't forget the indentations so here we're going to say uh, yeah here we're going to do this and we're going to say uh, we want columns how much columns we want uh, let's just take one column and yeah here you're not going to be using equal signs uh, you're only going to be using uh, columns so yeah uh, we want one columns and then we want our um, size so you can say size uh, root and here root dot width and root dot height so root dot width and then oh I will um, comma root dot width and then root dot height um, so here what this is going to do is here we're going to say th uh, that we want our um, code to be in the middle not down in the bottom so it's going to expand to your width and height of this um, window so yeah yeah so guys I almost forgot doing that I almost forgot putting the columns after my grid and uh, now we're going to create our labels so I'm going to say label um, label then press enter uh, columns press enter then press on tab um, we're going to say we got here we're going to say what we want our text to be so I'm going to say text and yeah um, if you put an equal sign it won't work because I uh, here in the KV language we don't use equal signs so we're going to say what we want our uh, text to print so we're just going to we're going to print anything let's just print name to do what we did in the last time uh, but with our KV language because it's much easier and more simpler uh, you just have to get used to it and yeah you're going to be pretty good using that so now we're going to say text um, uh, text input I don't know why like KV makes everything here you're going to say text input the I has to be capital like they just did that so text input and then we're going to say we don't want multi-line so yeah text input and then enter tab multi-line and then false there's no equals at all whatsoever so multi-line false now we're going to do that again for our email so we're going to just copy that uh, copy copy it once uh, so our button code it's going to be a bit different so let's get here to the first of the line uh, enter on uh, this line here here you see uh, same thing we're going to change it from name to email and we're going to yeah if you if you want your email to have multi line no one does that but if you want that uh, you can put it uh, after that we're going to create our button so we're going to say uh, it's also pretty close but not the same exactly so we're going to say um, button here button now the same way you did the things before uh we don't want multi line oh uh don't forget it, it has to be on the same indentation as the last uh, labels so button and enter tab uh, we want our button to be text input uh text we want to say what text we want to print so we're going to say text um our button we want it to be submit 
uh, or next or anything you want uh, I just wrote that wrong submit and now after that we're going to say uh, when we press on that button we're going to uh, like close our code so we're going to say on underscore press on press and then app dot btn btn is a function so we're going to put those um, parentheses now let's run that and you're going to see here this comes up the same thing we did with our last code but in a much simpler uh, simpler way so yeah you see here like it's so easy and if you guys have difficulties um, you can say that on your in the comment section I'm going to help you and yeah I'm going to put this code in the um, in the description so that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel bye